guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton. Happy Easter long weekend. I'm filming this just the day before you were seeing the video, so it's Easter for us too today here. And today we are discussing dog boots. jump into this video I just wanted to show you Herky and Milton's little cute teal accessories for Easter long weekend these are our new spring collection accessories from Kovology we have a full range of peachy and minty colored accessories and they're super cute you can mix and match all of them so I thought this was a super cute mint plaid pattern for Easter so if you want to check it out uh, it's on Kavology.com. It's our brand and feel free to shop our new collection We're so proud of it and a lot of you have been loving it so far. So thank you for all the support So today's video is all about dog boots and we are exiting winter and entering spring and there's just so much yucky muddy wet sidewalks and it's just a bit disgusting outside right now so boots are still a big essential for us and we did change from our winter boots to some spring options and I shared this reels video on Instagram and a lot of you loved it so I thought I would share with you a little bit more in-depth details about that so let me show you the reels video here it is nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know they're gonna know how would they know? How would they know? How would they know? I can't. I can't. I just, I can't. Oh my god! So if you are not familiar with this hack, this is a hack for the pause rubber boots. Let me show you. So this is, okay, this is the Paws Rubber Boots. It comes in a pack of 12 little booties. So, so if you have one dog, it's three complete sets of four paws. And this goes for $24. Herky and Milton, oh, sorry. Herky and Milton both wear the size small. You can check your sizing in here. We do have some of them on our site, Kavology as well. But you know what? It's not just about me selling products. I just love to share hacks and little ideas with you. So we do use these a lot. And these are disposable, reusable, waterproof boots. So since they are disposable, you wouldn't wear these like for, for, for like a year. But they're pretty good for like a few weeks to a few months, I would say, depending on your usage. We love to wear this in cities in the summer when it's really hot pavement or when it's wet outside. These are great. So they say it's good for ice and snow melt, allergies, traction control, sand rashes, clean house, dog germs, red clay, hot pavement, and lawn chemicals. We use these for a bunch of different reasons. And as you can see, it's like basically a balloon shape. And you put them on like this. It, it's not that tight around your dog's ankle, but you can't wear this for a super long period of time because your dog's paws can get sweaty inside. And if you didn't know, dogs sweat from their paws. And Milton does get does tend to get sweatier paws than Herky. And sometimes there's some red dye of these boots that transfers onto her first. So just be mindful of that. So here's how you put these boots on. You can use you can do this with two people but I'm pretty used to doing it on on my own how I do it is I put four fingers these two fingers in the boot and then I use these fingers in order to push her leg into the boot here's how I do it of course everybody has their own method but this is just how I do it and I'm pretty used to it and her kid Milton are pretty used to it too so I go like this and like a so. So this is how the boot is. It stays on really good for Herky and Milton. So good that sometimes it's kind of hard to remove it. To remove it, it's as simple as, as pulling it like this gently. Or you can put a finger into the opening like this and slide it off. But when you put a finger in, you have the risk of putting the boot inside out, which makes it much harder to reuse afterwards. So now onto the hack. 
So I saw this on TikTok and I thought, you know what, this is a great hack. I got this big bag of balloons. I don't even know how many there are in here, but there are a lot. And this whole bag is $1.25. So it's literally less than a 20th of the price. And what's really fun about these bags is that you have choice of color. You know how amazing this is? You can assort them to your dog's outfit. You can um, change them up every day. And I'm gonna show you how I personally use them. And what I love is that there's different sizes in these, um, in these packs as well. So let me show you the difference. Like it goes from all the way to this size, which is really tiny. I'm guessing this could be like almost puppy size. Um, you have some bigger ones like this, like the green one. Um, Hurricane Milton had some blue and yellow ones over there, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it is with these pink ones, for example. So all you need to do literally is take this, and I learned this while doing it, but I think it's kind of easier for the boot to stay on if you don't snip exactly here. So if I was to snip it exactly here, the balloon would only cover the paw portion of your dog's leg, which would make it easier to fall off. So I like to cut it a bit higher so it can come up their leg. So I would go about here, snip. Same with this one, you go about here. And since I don't have four of exactly the same, it's gonna be two different shades of pink, like a soul. So the big difference between your real paws and this, I would say, is the thickness of the rubber. The material is very similar. I almost want to say it's the same thing, like it's a, it's like a rubber. But this is definitely thicker. So although there is a difference in price, this is a really good hack, but it's not as good of a quality as this rubber. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that from the get go. Although the boots that Hurricane Melton have been wearing, they've been wearing for four long walks, I would say, and they're still okay. So. These are pretty durable still, not as durable as this probably, but it's still a 20th of the price. So let me show you what it looks like on Herky. The most common comment I see when I walk Herky and Milton in the streets with boots is, oh my god, my dog would never allow me to put boots on them. And the truth is, Herky and Milton are not fans of the boots. The trick is to positively reinforce the fact that you're putting boots on them and they really get used to them. Um, Herky and Milton are pretty docile dogs, like they won't protest when they don't want something. I know some dogs might be more difficult. Just remember to positively reinforce this behavior. So again, this is the same principle as when you want to put on the paws boots. You're going to stretch this out and you're going to see immediately that the, the stretchiness and the thickness of this is absolutely not the same. So you take it like this, you put her paw in, and this is what I mean when you cut it a bit higher, the boot can stay up higher on the leg here so it's not going to slip off immediately. I know there was a lot of feedback on uh, the Reels video that I did that says this hack doesn't work, it just slips off. And the problem with that could be that either your dog doesn't have any hair on their legs, like shorter haired dogs, so it slips off really easily. It could be that you took a balloon that's too big for your dog so it just slips off. Or it could be that you just trimmed it too low. As I mentioned before, like if this was trimmed exactly here, it could just slip off. Like this. So this was our hack of the day for boots. I think this is a super easy and quick way to get your dog introduced to boots. If they don't wear boots, these are much easier to get used to than the big rubber soles boots that we usually use. And I think it's just good practice to get your dog to wear boots outside, especially during spring. There's so much dust and there's so much uh, just dirty outside that it's a good way to uh, keep them clean and it's also a great way to protect their paws in the summer from hot pavement so you can get, slowly get them used to doing that. We're strong believers of boots and footwear. There's so many heads, every head turns around when they see us walk Hurricane Milton with boots and it might look funny to some people but it's for hygienic purposes for us and it's also to protect their paws. So this is a great thing for you to try out at home this weekend. It's so economical and, and it looks super cute too. So let me show you how I remove it on Herky just to finish off this video. You can either remove it like this from the top or you can just grab the entire boot like this and pull very slowly like that. Okay Herky.
All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you try it out, share it on social media and tag us at Herky the Cavalier. We would love to see you recreate this hack and I would love to know how it works out for you. So thank you guys for watching. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.